Hello, everyone. Welcome to our product demo. My name is Mary, one of the developers from the Coda Squad. Our squad was formed of nine developers, six DevOps members, and two UN members. We all came from a different backgrounds. Some of us are students. Some of us working in a different industry. Therefore, many thanks to our tutor, Chris, who has been putting lots of effort into our team, leading and guiding us to deliver this project successfully. Now, follow my lead. I'll be guiding you today through to our project, the Coffeetopia. Coffeetopia is a social media platform that can gather all coffee lovers around the country and form a wonderful space for them to share experience and to communicate. In the Coffeetopia community, coffee lovers can share their comments on certain dishes or recommend their dining experience in the cafe to other people simply by posting notes. Users can follow, save, like, and comment on any notes that they're interested in, or even share them with friends via our share function. Lovers can also search for a specific topic or a cafe through our global search bar. Alternatively, they may want to explore more famous cafes and posts on our note gallery page. Now you may ask, there are already similar products in the market. What kind of problems are we trying to solve? Indeed. Our Coffee Topia community perfectly filters out the interference of non coffee related information for coffee lovers and stands out for many other similar products by presenting and integrating the platform in a novel way. These include the following key functions and key technologies. Therefore, it leads to a way to be compatible in the market and create enormous business value. And how do you achieve it? Don't get lost. Now I'm going to show you more detailed content of our project. The following points on this page will be approached through our journey. Teamwork, obviously, is the fundamental part of our project. It's all credited to our fabulous project management. Now, Nancy is going to lead our way to reveal the key to our success. Hi, guys. Um, I'm Nancy, and for our project, our team are using Agile project management. We iteratively develop our project and continuously value communication and feedback to produce high quality results. We broke down our project into two stages and several sprints. We held planning section at the beginning of each sprint. And every time when it comes to the end of the sprint, we use Easy Retro as retrospective tool to discuss what went well and what didn't. By doing that, we are able to identify obstac obstacles and discuss ideas for improvements. Trello is our main project management tool. We use it to manage tasks with simple boards and cards. It allows us to release segments of the project so that we could know what is being done in the project. We scheduled a standard meeting every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. We also have fabulous document management. We took everything down in Notion as a record. Here is the list of the document we record in our Notion on the right hand side, left hand side. As you see, we have detailed planning documents about our database, meeting agenda, project pages, and UI design. If you click on UI design, it will lead you to the link where we store our detailed Figma design page. Moreover, we have one-on-one -on -one performance review meeting when it comes to the end of every stage. During the performance review, we review questions like what we have done well and what we've learned during the period of study. As a young and inexperienced product team, we also hold several workshops to help both of our developers and DevOps to identify problems. By doing the workshops, we could learn more hands-on skills and have advanced study or give basic ideas of each other's special speciality. Now we move to the next session. Andy will talk about tech highlights and challenges we have made and encountered in the project. Okay, let's talk about the technique highlights and challenges. So first, let's talk about solutions because our website is aiming for desktop users, but we also consider there are many users you know, who use the mobiles. 
So we need to mobile phones. So we need to make sure like many pages of, on our website should be fully responsive. And as this as this page you can see on the screen, this is our landing page, and this is our gallery page, and this is our note page, and it looks still very nice. Even the user uses the mobile phones, and user can log in use by the Google account. And when a user just forgot their password, they can reset the password through email. And we have a two different rules for our users. The first one is admin. The second one is normal users. So in the front end, you can see on top right, top right corner on the toolbar, there is a there is what extra icon, but that's for the admin. Only the admin has the permission to create and edit cafe. And normal users don't have that permission. And in the back end, we also add a middleware to just check out whether users can just have the permission to get access to that page or not. And then let's talk about the price system because our website support multiple level comments. And when a user make a comment, for the, even for the secondary comment, user make a comment and user like a note or user follow users. Now the user log in, they can see a notification pop up on the, that bell icon top right corner. And then we finish many features but we also focus on details because we just try to improve users' experiences. So as you can see, there are many models pop up. Like if the user want to raid the cafe, you can see here, there is a model pop up. You can rate it and you can see how many users follow that current authors. And when the user want to log in, log out or register, they can just click it directly without any extra taking any extra steps. They can click it and one model pop up. It's very good for user experiences. Um, let's talk about challenge because infinite schooling is one of the challenge. The reason is because firstly, we're just trying to use pagination as shown in the left-hand side, but we think about, can we make it better? So we just try to use a different approach, just like infinite schooling, but basic, you know, normal infinite schooling, we have to detect the bottom, like when the user use their fingers to screw up and down. Okay, so the callbacks will be triggered too many times to calculate the screw position. So it is very bad performance. It's less efficient. But so we, that's because that's why we just try to use different approach like intersection observer API. We use that one. We can just bind a target like a div container, we just bind their target. And when the target is inside the viewport, the callback function will be triggered. So that's more efficient because we don't need to calculate the position of bottom. So that's how we improve our efficiency here. And that's how we deal with chat this challenge here for infinite schooling. And for debug challenging, I want to talk about because in the past few months, we debug we fix many bugs, but especially in the past two weeks, there were many bugs because we just try to merge different branch into that branch to our main branch. So there were many bugs emerged. So all of us just try to find uh, doing some researches because many bugs are not that clear. So we have to make some re many researches to find out original what's the reasons for that bugs and how we solve it, solve that. So let's go to the Dev DevOps part. Hi everyone, there are four members of our DevOps team and I'm Talia. We use three tiers architecture for our website. I will start to describe the front end part. And next, please. Uh, we use S3 bucket to host the static website and the registered domain and host Zoom in Route 53. Then use Amazon Certificate Manager to create SSL certificate for HTTPS, which is uh, encrypted connection for, for our application. Moreover, use CloudFront to deploy CDN for secure delivery content, where alias records are created and configured by Route 53 to route traffic to CloudFront distribution. And then we'll be able to view our website with all the added benefits of CloudFront. 
which provides lower latency and higher delivery speeds for our global clients. Hi, I'm Ron. I will introduce the architecture of our backend. First of all, our backend service are placed in the AWS VPC. The purpose is to isolate them from the public network and ensure the security of our data. Then we communicate with the external network by configuring the rules of the internet gateway. We will set the backend service into two availability zones to improve, to improve the feasibility and avoid service failure. The traffic is passed to the AWS application node balancer through the internet gateway, which assigns tasks to ECS existing in the private subnet for execution. The, the, and interacts with the backend database MongoDB. Finally, the result is returned to clients through the live gateway in public subnet. Overall, we will monitor the whole process through AWS CloudWatch and visualize it through Grafana. Thanks, next. Hi everyone, I'm Ruby. And next, I will introduce our CSD pipeline part. We implemented CSD pipeline to enable our develop development team to release a constant flow of updates into production. We use Jenkins server and pipeline will be triggered when the code is pushed to the remote or merged to the main branch. For the front end, the pipeline will in install packages and build artifacts. This content will be uploaded and deployed to AWS S3 bucket. And the cloud front will be set up to deliver the, con the web content to the users. And for the backend, the pipeline will first dockerize the backend content into an image. And the image will be pushed to the ECR repository. The target tasks will pull the latest image from ECR, deploy the backend content. We use Terraform as our infrastructure management tool. So we also use Jenkins to run front-end and back-end Terraform pipelines. And our remote state field of the Terraform is managed by AWS S3 bucket. Next, please. Hi, everyone. I'm Alex. As you can see in the previous structure, we use Grafana to monitor back-end instance based on metrics collected in AWS CloudWatch. The monitor mainly detects the two components, load balancer and ECS. For ECS, we mainly monitor CPU utilization and memory utilization. HTTP request rate and error rate are the main indicators for load balancer. Based on the above monitoring data, we can make a basic evaluation about the system. That's all of our DevOps part. Next part, our dev team will show the application demo. Thanks. Our website. So visitor, welcome to Coffee website. Basically, there are two roles in our website. So visitor and admin. Firstly, I will pretend to be the visitor to give you a tour. When we enter the home page, we can find a shortcut menu here. We can either click the arrow button here to find the description of this page, or we can go to this page through these links. Now let's get to the next page, the find the cafe page. In search page, we can search cafes in different states. And this search button will bring us to the map view of cafes. Below this page, we also listed the top trending cafes here to recommend it to users. And now let's get to the cafe page to see what we have. In the cafe search page, we have all the details of the cafe and related notes shared by users. Then we try to reach or like. We can find only logged-in users can do that. But we can still check the notes of this cafe in the note page, except for the pictures and details of these notes. We also display the related cafes, the comments, and the related notes. Similarly, only logged-in users can comment, like, or save a note. So let's register user now. The user can also use their Google account to directly log in. If we don't use Google account, we can do the simple register here. After register, now we can log in. If you forget the password, you can click here and enter your email to send an email to get password with that link. Now we can use the link we get to reset the password. And now we can log in. 
app login, now we can read this cafe. And we can also like or unlike this cafe. We can also follow and follow and follow in this cafe. And we can also check the followers, we follow other people's. Now, let's check what we can do with the notes. In this note, now we can like it. And we can also reply other users in the comments. Except that we can check the users who like this note and follow them. We can go to the user profile page. As for our own profile page, we can click here to check what notes we have posted and saved. Besides, we can check notes posted by all of our followings in the notebook page. Here we can get all the updates of our followings. Another important page of our website is the note gallery page, which allows users, even unlocking visitors, to explore. This page includes all the notes posted by our users. Currently, our known users can edit their profile by clicking this setting button under the user menu. Additionally, if the user wants to create a note, they can click this plus button. When creating a cafe, we can add pictures here. Add the title here, the contents, the related cafes. Let's select the category of it and post it. Now we can check it in our own profile page. This is the new one. And also check it in the note gallery page, this one. This time we use the Google account login. Only the admin user can edit cafe in the cafe page. After finish all the input in this page, we cannot create it. This is our cafe. That's all. Thank you. Let's then uh, display the. Let me just display that responsive page first. And then I want to um, 
share about my screen now. Here is about how, how a website looks like after deployment. So first is because that video is shown before is you can see that URL is local, local URL, but for local host. But for now, this one is our website after deployment. So first let's go to the login. We can see uh, when I just want to log in using my Google account, I can just, yeah, I can log in successfully. And this is our gallery page here. And when I just screw down, keep scrolling and all of our notes will display here. And yeah, you're seeing it all because that's the bottom of the page. And then let's go to the landing page. This is our landing page. So after logout, if the user didn't log in, click this one. This is our landing page. And we just click find a cafe and sign in. Sign in with Google account, gallery page. That's our user profile because and that's great page. That's because I am the admin now, so uh, I can just add it cafe. And that's all. Thanks for watching.